This video walks you through creating an application that allows you to programmatically sign into and sign out of a Microsoft account. It can be useful if you need to sign into a service, which needs authentication using predefined credentials. First of all, you need to add the necessary .NET Browser NuGet packages. Please note, that you need to add just the .NET Browser WPF package. All the necessary references to other packages will be included automatically. Modify the grid control for a better look. Add the browser view instance and two buttons from toolbox. Modify the added controls for a better look. The end users will be able to programmatically sign in or sign out with these buttons. Add the windows.closed event handler, which will be used for disposing browser and Chromium. Add the button click event handlers. Add the engine and browser instances. You can set the license key through engine options. We don't do this, because we already set the license key through the environment variable. By default, the rendering mode is off screen, unless you change that through the engine options. The browser view component does not contain any browser instances until initialized by one. Navigate to the Microsoft login page and wait until it's loaded completely. Implement the dispose process of the browser and engine instances. Now let's implement the sign in functionality. It is necessary to focus browser to be able to manipulate the web page. Access the document of the web page. We need to find the login, password, and submit elements in the document. Find the login element using its ID value. Modify the login field using the .NET Browser DOM API. It allows you to inject the necessary text. Find the submit element to simulate mouse clicks.
implement the click functionality. For convenience, let's simulate mouse events in separate methods. Calculate the center of the element to obtain the coordinates for a mouse click simulation. Simulate the left mouse click. The web page has scripts that hide and show different fields. It might take some time. So, wait for the password field to appear. Find and modify the password element just like the login element. Simulate clicking on the submit button. The next step is to implement the sign out functionality. The easiest way to sign out from the web page is to remove cookies. And navigate to the Microsoft login web page again. Check if the code works well. It is time to compile the project and check its functionality. Press the sign in button. We successfully logged into our Microsoft account. After signing out, we navigate to the Microsoft login webpage. All pop up windows also have access to our Microsoft account now. If we log out of the main browser, the pop-up windows cannot access the Microsoft account anymore. After logging in again, all pop-up windows will get access to the previously loaded pages. So that's how you get your app to automatically sign into and out of a Microsoft account. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Have a great day.